Another of the seven management and planning tools is the relationship diagram or interrelationship digraph as it's sometimes called. And it can be a form of, of cause and effect kind of a diagram. And so you literally start out with um, one thing and knowledge of real or true competition and then how that leads us to our perception of being one organization which leads to respect and having a common mission, strong leadership, accountability, cooperation, trust, and whatever. And what you do is start to connect and say, well, this uh, causes that, right? So we develop an arrow. And then that leads to this, and then uh, respect leads to cooperation, and it also leads to trust. Uh, communication leads to respect, strong leadership leads to respect, and literally you're starting to connect all of these things up and what you want to discover is which ones uh, have the most out uh, links because those are the ones that are the most influential. All right. So here we have uh, <coughs> uh, umpteen different out links uh, and very few in links. Right. And so we'd count the number of out and in links here. And those lead us to then discover that, oh, well, trust is something that is earned you know it's not something that really drives things right so you can't just go get trust you have to you know do other things like lead and be accountable and 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 those kinds of things to get trust to gain trust right and so trust also drives a couple of things but it's not going to be the the big mover and shaker here so strong leadership and a common mission are the two big uh, outs and so those are probably the ones we'd want to focus on in terms of of driving a behavior change all right so the relationship diagram is a way of starting to connect all these uh, seemingly unrelated items another similar type of thing is a systems thinking diagram uh, here you can see there's one called fixes that fail sometimes cause and effects are not uh, linear they're circular so if I gain weight that makes me diet and dieting makes me lose weight but dieting also makes my metabolism slow down which causes me to gain weight alright so dieting leads to weight gain leads to metabolism loss which leads to weight gain which leads to more di weight dieting and so literally you know the idea here is that there's that's probably not the way to go about losing weight alright so that's the relationship diagram and its cousin the systems diagram and I invite you, again, you can click on our links down here, and these will take you to pages on our website that have more information about that. And that's the Relationship Diagram, one of the seven management and planning tools. Download a 30-day trial of the QI Macros from QIMacros.com.